Hi everyone, today I'm here with my first Slovenian travel guide and today I'm going to show you the best places to check out in the seaside region but we are a little bit further away from the sea right now. We are in a town called Postojna and there are two attractions over here that can be missed. First we have Predjama Castle which is the biggest cave castle in the world. It was built about 800 years ago and has a lot of underground tunnels which connect it to the nearby Postojna cave which is actually another attraction worth visiting. You can take a short shuttle bus between the two and while I don't think it's necessary to visit the castle from the inside you definitely need to go check out the Postojna cave. Postojna cave is the only karst cave with a cave railway and a tiny train takes you around to see all the features of the cave including stalagmites, stalactites, the oldest underground post office in the world as well as a very special animal called human fish or proteus. Unfortunately I don't have time to pop in today and show you around but you'll have to trust me on the fact that it's definitely worth a visit because the cave is spectacular. So the next stop is Lipica and if you like horses, this is the place to be. It's the location of a famous original stud farm with Lipicaner horses, which are these all white horses behind me. They originate from Slovenia and the farm itself was established in 15 80 so it's really old these days you can obviously see the horses but you can also go ride horses go check out the show and even see how they're being trained so we have now made it to the actual seaside and the number one town you need to explore here is Piran it's famous for its salt production which goes back years and years ago but most people come around because it is a very picturesque city there's a lot of narrow streets colorful houses there's a Tartini square with a famous church, a medieval wall, and also a hill with a really nice view. Piran was actually developed under the strong influence of Venice, so the architecture is very similar. And speaking of Venice, if you're around here for a couple of days, you can actually make a day trip to Venice with a catamaran because it is not very far from here. Another city you can check out if you're here at the coast is Portaroche which is, I would say, a typical resort town with plenty of hotels. There's a beach here, lots of restaurants and casinos. So that's it for my Slovenian seaside travel guide. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if it was helpful down in the comments below and also let me know if you're gonna come around and check out any of the things I mentioned. But thanks for watching and see you later. Bye!